we'll take a look at two additional data types, the char or the character data type and as well as the string. So I'm going to open up the variables project we have created from a previous lesson. I'm going to go ahead and comment out this information we see here. So we'll go ahead and start this with the forward slash asterisk. And we'll end that right there with the asterisk forward slash. So that ends my block comment we've got there. And so we'll begin by creating my first variable here as a string. So I'm just going to call this one string. We'll set the variable's name to my name equals. And now the thing to remember with strings and with the chars or the characters is going to be that they're within quotes. So far up to this point we've used numbers or we've used a boolean which is a true or false value and from now on with the strings if we're going to ever use a string you have to have it within quotes because what it is is a bunch of characters and it could even be spaces that are all strung together to basically hold the variables data or value and so what we're going to do is I'm just going to put uh, Matthew Henning and we're going to go ahead and end that with a semicolon and so this is what the strings value is going to hold it's going to hold my name it's going to put it in there so we'll go ahead and create another string I'll call this one my state equals, and we'll just say PA. And then with a semicolon. And so let's go ahead and we'll write this here in a console state right line statement. Console.write line. And we're just gonna go ahead and say my name is, and then we'll use the placeholder of the zero. And I am living in, we'll go ahead and use the placeholder one, and the quotes here, and then the first comma that we have here is going to be for that placeholder zero, so I want that to be my name, and then I'll use a comma, and then I'm going to use my state, and that'll be my second placeholder that I have there, I'll end that with the parenthesis and the semicolon. So what's going to happen is this variables value will be passed into this first zero holder container and then my states value will be paste, or placed into these, this placeholder one that's available for us and so when it reads and we print the statement out you'll see my name is and then it will take the valuable or the variable variables data and put it into zero and then you know, since I'm living in the same thing goes here it's going to take my states value and put it into there so let's go ahead and run this so we can see what it looks like. And you can see it says my name is Matthew Penning and I'm living in PA. I'll go ahead and hit the enter. And so that's using strings. You need to remember that strings are going to have the double quotes around them. As well as when you write a string in the console write line, I also need to have double quotes around the string that I'm writing. Now we're going to take a quick look at the char character or char variable and it's just going to be char. This is going to hold a single character for us rather than the whole string. So I can say uh, alpha 1 equals and again you're going to want this to be in quotes. Now, there is a difference between a capital and lowercase a. So if you're going to want a lowercase a you're going to need that lowercase a. If you want a capital you have to type that in. So we'll just do another one. Alpha 2 equals B and we'll do one more char alpha 3 equals C and if I wanted to display all of these characters I could go ahead and do another console right line and we're going to go ahead and just in quotes I'll use the first placeholder the second placeholder placeholder that we have here. And the quotes, I'll put commas, and let's go ahead and fill in these placeholders now with alpha 1, alpha 2, comma, and alpha 3. And so what we're going to do is just display those three characters that we have there. So I'll go ahead and run this. build error. And I've got an error here. It says I cannot convert the type 
string to a character. So I'm going to go ahead and close this error list and notice what I've done wrong. And I've actually used double quotes for my characters rather than single quotes. Uh, for characters, you're going to need the single quote rather than the double quote. So let's go ahead and change those. And now I'll rerun my application. And you'll see that it prints off A, B, and C for me. So this is using both the strings and the char variable data types within C-sharp.